Hi guys. Um, today let's move on to the next word, Portuguese word of the day. And as a recap, the previous Portuguese word of the day was L or I in English. Um, yeah, that's the personal pronoun. But today we will have a noun, another part of the speech, a different part of the speech, a noun, it's livro. The particular word of the day today is livro, which means book in English. Book, you see the picture here, it's a, book. It's a red book, un livro vermelho. Uh, by the way, we see the, this M here inside the parentheses. Uh, Perhaps for English speakers, it's strange to see like this because in English, the nouns, the names for the nouns are general, or especially the names for objects, uh, have no gender. So a book is neither male or female. Of, co of course. An exception is the names for like, like man and woman, because it's it has a gender. Man is masculine M, and woman is F, feminine. So libro is masculine. Yeah, because it. There's a rule in Portuguese language that a noun is masculine if it ends in O and feminine if it ends in A. But I think there are later on you'll see some exceptions. You will learn exceptions to that rule. Okay. Okay, guys. The first example we have here. Yes. O livro é pequeno. O livro é pequeno. Which means the book is small. The book is small. Yeah, again, we have the definite article masculine singular here. Because the noun livro is yes, masculine singular. And then, therefore, it should agree with the noun. The article should agree with the noun that follows it. O. The noun is plural and masculine is us libros. If it's feminine, yes as libras. But I think libras does not exist in Portuguese, so let's just change this to as as scholars in the schools. Yeah, this is the books. Okay. Um, the next is E. E is come from the verb sir to be. You see here the conjugation of the verb sir. Yeah. In Brazilian Portuguese. There are four very common forms. So, a, so much, is some. But in total, yeah, there are six forms for the conjugated forms of the verb sir. So, a, so much, some, es, is, and so is. But note that these two at the bottom here are uncommon in Brazil and they are more common in. Portugal, they're in Europe. Yeah, so, if you're learning, trying to learn the Brazilian version of the Portuguese, you have just to memorize four of the six. So, é, somos, and so. Eu also, você, ela, ou elas, é, nós somos, vocês, elas, ou elas, são. Okay. And yeah, the Next word is pequeno. It's the adjective. It's the, the object of the sentence and the predicate. Yeah, uh, I think 
this seems like the Spanish I think in Spanish it's it looks like the verb where it's small is looks like just like the one in Portuguese pequeno except that the diff only difference is the N in Spanish there's the wiggly line over the N which is called I think the ac still the accent like pequeno and it's sounds like pequeño, pequeño and not pequeño in Portuguese it's pequeño in Spanish it's pequeño so as if you have the NH there in Portuguese which is the sound equivalent to any in Spanish in Spanish from Spanish pequeño pequeño but no the correct in Portuguese the correct uh, form of the adjective is pequeno the n the n sound also pequeno 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 of course the feminine feminine would be pequena the plural would be pequenos pequenos and beginners. All right, guys. On to the next example sentence. Where will they leave you? Um, okay. S G A O. Oops. Sorry about that. I forgot to type in the English translation. This is my. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me read that again. Este é o meu livro. Este é o meu livro. This is my book. It means in English, this is my book. Okay. Uh, first word of the sentence. What part of speech is it? It's the demonstrative. It's a demonstrative adjective. Yeah. And in Portuguese, we have six demonstrative adjectives. The S, which is which we have here in our sentence, an example. The S, the aquele, the isto, the isso. And the kilo, we have six. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. The first, yeah, SG is used when the speaker is pointing at an object that he or she is holding, or just very close to him, actually touching to his body. I guess <laughs> but the LC here is if the object is a distance away from the speaker or if another person to whom the speaker is talking to, uh, to whom the speaker is talking is holding that object which the speaker is pointing at and a Kelly which means in English over there if the object is farther away, farther, farther than the SC object. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to continue. Um yeah. <laughs> um of the demonstrative adjectives of the six we have here, <laughs> the first three you see here, S T S and Kelly are variable Demonstrative adjectives that means they, they have different forms according to their number that is whether it's singular or plural in the noun to which they describe is singular or plural or to the gender of the noun that is in the noun is masculine or feminine for S she we have S that if feminine and yeah their plural forms would be 
S G S and S T S. Next S C and S A S U S and S S. And last one a Kelly and a Kella. And the platforms for the masculine and feminine a Kelly and a Kella. S G S S T S S S S S. What about these three here? H two is what you. These are invariable because they these are used to yeah refer to objects that are vague or that we do not know definitely what. The number of the object or the ma the gender of the object. Yeah, to give you an example on how to use this vague or this indefinite demonstrative adjective. Suppose you are you want you are yeah you want to know what your friend. Uh, has in his or her pocket, you say, qual, uh, you say, oh, okay, é isso, o que isso no seu bolso, o que isso no seu bolso, which means, what is that thing? In your pocket, okay. Uh, yeah. Isso, isso, because you don't know how much, how many of that thing is in his, in your friend's pocket, or if you know, you don't know. What it is? I don't know if it's masculine or feminine noun. Yeah. So you use is. Also, these demonstrative adjectives can directly follow the noun. For example, esta flor é Linda, which means this flower is beautiful. You see, esta flor. The noun follows directly the demonstrative adjective esta. Okay. And to give you more example, um, the plural version of esta flor é linda is estas. Flores são lindas. Which means these flowers are beautiful. Yeah. Since it's the plural version, the adjective should be also in the plural. Estas lindas. The noun is conjugated. The plural são. And of course. The last but not the least, the noun should be in the plural also. Flourish, add es to make the floor plural. Okay. Going back to the sentence, example sentence. Um male. It's a possessive adjective. A masculine singular possessive adjective. Yeah. Yeah, used to show it is it omel is used used to show possession that for example in this sentence as she may live, you're saying that you possess the book that you are the owner of the book. Okay, 
the fanning fanning version of what if you own a flower well, how do you say that the amia flower my flower and if, if it's plural as to me yes flowers my flowers So that concludes my Portuguese word of the day video. I hope you like the content of the video. Espero que você tenha gostado do meu vídeo. And I hope that you've learned some Portuguese from it. Espero que você tenha aprendido uh, um pouquinho de português do meu vídeo. Uh, thank you for watching. Obrigado por ter assistido. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's down below. Uh, yeah. Okay, see you next time. Até a próxima.